This is a dangerous animal. Multiple rows of razor-sharp teeth, gigantic jaws that could swallow you whole. Encountering this animal in the ocean would be everyone's worst nightmare. Surprisingly, fewer than 10 people a year die of shark attacks. We should be a lot more afraid of the female mosquito, the most deadly animal on the planet. According to the World Health Organization, malaria carried by mosquitoes killed over half a million people in Africa in 2015 alone. 300,000 of those malarial deaths were children under just five years old. Mosquitoes and the diseases that they carry kill over three quarters of a million people around the world every year. Even here on our tiny island of Bali, 38 people died of dengue fever in just the first four months of 2016. Dengue fever is the fastest growing mosquito vector disease on Earth, and Zika is expanding rapidly also. I started doing mosquito control work on a tiny island in the Maldives six years ago. When I first arrived, I thought it was the most beautiful tropical island I had ever seen, a real tropical paradise. Robinson Crusoe-style grass-roofed huts, white sand beaches, palm trees, and the most incredible sky-blue-green water. But I soon saw the dark side of paradise. They were fogging and spraying us with neurotoxin pesticides three times a day, fogging at 6 a.m., fogging at 6 p.m., and soaking the jungle with water-based pesticides shooting out of high-pressure sprayers at noon. When the fog would start rolling in, I would run to the far ends of the island to try to escape the fog. Once when I was running from the fogger, I realized that I needed to do something about this terrible problem. Fogging and spraying three times a day, and yet there were still tons of mosquitoes on this tiny little island. They were nuking the island with chemical pesticides for the past nine years since the resort was built. Obviously, something wasn't working. So I decided to talk to the general manager and propose a more eco-friendly solution called source control. Source control is controlling mosquito larvae in water while they're still trapped, before they have the chance to emerge with wings. Source control is simple but effective. You might be asking yourselves why chemical pesticide fogging is so ineffective. Three main reasons. The first big reason that fogging is so ineffective is that mosquitoes develop resistance to chemical pesticides quickly. Just like all of us here display genetic variation, mosquitoes do also. Those mosquitoes that are genetically resistant and not killed by the pesticides are the only ones to reproduce. Soon all of the mosquitoes are the offspring of the genetically resistant mosquitoes, and the pesticides become less and less effective until they're doing almost nothing at all. The second big reason that fogging is so ineffective is that it targets adult mosquitoes, and it does nothing about the root cause of the problem, which is mosquitoes breeding in water. You could fog right over a pond containing millions of mosquito larvae, and you would do nothing to eliminate the larvae or stop the winged emergence of adult mosquitoes from the pond. The third big reason that fogging is so ineffective is that it's not the best strategy. It's a lot easier to control mosquito larvae trapped in water than to control flying adult mosquitoes. This is a jar full of mosquito larvae. If we were to pour these larvae onto the ground, they would be eliminated in a matter of seconds. But if, on the other hand, we were to release these adult mosquitoes into the air, it would be a lot harder to find and eliminate these adult mosquitoes because they would have dispersed into this huge three-dimensional space. This chemical pesticide, Cislin, which I've seen used quite a bit, is a neurotoxin pesticide that can have negative effects on the human nervous system. I guess whenever you see the words coma and convulsions, it's a very bad sign. This pesticide called Xenovex, I've seen used quite a bit recently, is extremely toxic for fish. It can kill trout in lab experiments down to just three parts per billion concentrations. 
to imagine what three parts per billion might look like, if you had this one bottle cap full of Xenovex pesticide and you poured it into the water volume of an Olympic-sized swimming pool, that would be about three parts per billion concentration. So just this tiny bit of chemical pesticide in an Olympic-sized pool would be enough to kill trout. Recently, we did a project with a resort originally built in the 1970s. They had been fogging this resort twice a day, morning and evening, for 40 years. 40 years, and there was still a terrible mosquito problem. That day, the first day at lunch, we were surrounded by a swarm of 20-plus mosquitoes in the restaurant. And you could watch people swatting at mosquitoes with their cloth napkins and trying to avoid mosquito attacks under the table. We started that afternoon by surveying 170 vaults on the property. Vaults are concrete boxes of varying sizes through which all of the behind-the-scenes infrastructure of the resort runs. High voltage cables, plumbing valves, gray water, and sewage. And we were able to find 15 vaults that contained, each of them contained many thousands of mosquito larvae, pupae, and emerging adults. The worst of all the vaults was a gray water tank that contained millions of mosquito larvae. And when we disturbed the water surface, many hundreds of adult mosquitoes were emerging from the tank. And we weren't surprised to see that this tank was right behind the main guest restaurant, where we had seen so many adult mosquitoes earlier in the day. By cutting off the outflow of winged mosquitoes, by eliminating all of the larvae in the 15 vaults that we found on the first day, we were able to stop that outflow of mosquitoes. And soon, the population started dropping. By day six, there were only a couple of mosquitoes around each of us in the restaurant, and the remaining population of mosquitoes would continue to drop over the next few weeks. This work has a lot to do with changing people's long-held beliefs and unquestioning faith in pesticides. Until people start to question, they can't embrace new ideas. If chemical pesticides are failing us in attempts to control adult mosquitoes, which is what I see every day in the work that I do, then instead of looking for more toxic pesticides, let's look for new, better solutions that don't involve chemical pesticides. Thank you. Thank you.